Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today and that everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Today we're going to be working on the Civic some more. So when I installed these Ram style headers I bought this half size radiator here and it sits really close to it. So what I bought was some reflective tape. So I haven't opened it yet. Let's get this box open and check it out. So I picked up this reflective heat tape from eBay. Uh, it was about $14 for 30 feet. It is the gold reflective heat tape, uh, two inches wide by 30 feet. Uh, we'll get this on the radiator and we'll see how well it sticks, how thick the uh, tape is and see if it's a good buy or if you should buy a more expensive one. So let's get this going and see how it is. Before I start, I want to give my friend Kenny from KTV Belt a shout out. Go check him out. Bought the sticker from him. Got this nice note. Uh, he has a sweet G35 sedan, and also he's starting a K-Swap EK sedan. So, I'll leave his link down in the description below. Go check him out. Tell him I sent you. Okay, grab tape measures. You can see how wide this is. Oh, it's about two inches, so that tape will fit perfectly. Don't need to cut it. Uh... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the surface off. I'm going to take these zip ties off because you know it's a Honda. So you got to have zip ties on the car. I'm just going to run the tape on the top along the bottom. And then if I can, I'm going to put some on the radiator right here. Uh, the fan, I mean. It's really, really close right there. So yeah, let's get this cleaned off. Get it. All the tape pre cut and put it on. Got the zip tie cut that holds it down, wiped it off. As you saw in the last clip, I just took my heat gun and well hair dryer and it's heated up the metal it's kind of cold today just want to make sure that it's a little bit warmer and it'll the tape will stick to it so i'm going to do this little piece right here gonna cut cut around the cap try it out this little section first It's pretty thick and it laid down really easy. So there it is. So now I have time to get the rest of it covered and then we'll look into doing the intake. Let's go. I do this all in one piece I didn't make the hole big enough when I did the cut so I ended up doing two pieces there turned out pretty good a little bit of bubbling going here but that's also where the weld is I think it makes it look cool too so let me finish this radiator and then do the intake. Okay, just got down with the side. 
Also did that little triangle piece right there. So as of now, I'm not going to do the intake. I think I do want to switch the intake tube up a little bit. So I don't want to waste the material right now and just tape it up. Right now, this is the intake tube that came with the car. I want something that will put the filter right over here, further away from the headers. I mean, even if I put tape here, you're going to have the heat coming from the headers pretty much right into the filter here. So until I get a new tube, I'm just going to leave this as it is. And, I'll st and if I do get just an elbow, I might do that. I'll do another video on how to wrap the tube because it's a little bit harder with the bends here. You have to cut the tape a little bit smaller, thinner, to be able to lay it over and look smooth. But I might just put a couple more pieces along the side here. So, for my review, I think that's a good deal for how much you get. Uh, the back of it, see if I can, it's woven like that. You can kind of see it there in the gold too. So, for heat resistance or heat transfer, uh, I don't know if this is any worse or it's equal to something you pay more money for. You know, I, I saw rolls same size for double, triple the amount. But for $15, $14, whatever it was, I think, I think it'll be good. So I'll wrap it up for this video. Give you one last look. I think it looks pretty good. I still have to do the battery relocation and the fuse box relocation and the wire tuck. I got a vacation coming up next week. So I should be able to do that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about what I should do with this intake. I kind of want to go with the carbon fiber uh, intake, but not sure. I mean, I might just get a little elbow off of eBay to get the filter to sit closer over here behind the headlight for now and let's wrap it. I do got the kit right here and the other pieces needed for the relocation of the battery. I do want to do my driving lights for the Integra. Since it's getting dark out I drive on some back roads going to work so I think that would be really cool to have those lights behind the grill. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Comment what you think about this uh, heat tape, about what I should do with the intake and all that. Like I said, I should have a couple more videos out next week. And if uh, you want to see my other videos, just go down there, hit the subscribe button, go through them, let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching. Until next time, peace out.